Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of my favorite products at Sephora as well as a whole Sephora haul because the Sephora sale is actually happening right this moment. Today is the 15th and the sale is available to everyone. So it's Insiders, VIB, and then VIB Rouge. And if you are VIB Rouge, you get 20% off. If you're a VIB, you get 15% off. And then if you're just an insider, which means you can literally sign up today, you can get 10% off, which is still a lot, especially if you're just like restocking on products or you want to try a bunch of new things. Today's Sephora haul kind of has a little bit of both. I had to restock on some items and I did get a few new ones. So let's get into the haul and then we'll talk about some of my favorite Sephora products that you should definitely pick up during the sale. Starting off with lip products, I got the fresh lip polish and I honestly have not even opened it yet. Um, but ooh, it looks nice. It's just pretty much a sugar scrub. There's nothing really much else to say, but I have not had one of these since college and I feel like my lips are just going a little nuts right now. So I thought I would pick that up. And then this product, you've probably seen it all over Instagram. I mean, Summer Fridays just does such a good job of branding. And I think I was listening to a podcast where Marianne Hewitt was literally saying like they make their products so that people would wanna post them to their feed. And that's just like such a genius idea because it's just so aesthetic. So this is the Lip Butter Balm. I've heard amazing things about the formula and I'm just like a big lippy girl. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It's so underscore gnarly without the G and I'll definitely be keeping you updated on all these products. I've actually tried this product before, so this is a restock. It's the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen and it's SPF 40. I really like the formula and how it sits on my face. It just doesn't make me feel super oily. Um, it's kind of like a primer consistency. I don't know how to describe it, but since it is SPF, it is actually amazing to use as a primer. I saw this on TikTok, so TikTok definitely made me buy it. It is the Glow Screen from Super Goop. And I actually just made a TikTok on the difference because I wanted to do like a side-by-side -side comparison. This one has a shimmer inside that really makes you glow and it's a pretty glow it's not anything too like crazy highlighter um, but it is a very big difference from the unseen sunscreens I wanted to have the option if I wanted to like be more matte I know this will probably be my go-to just because I don't want to like sweat through the glow stuff you know does that make sense I feel like that would kind of look a little funky I did get a couple of eye products. So this is one of the first things I saw in Sephora. So I actually went into the store and just like looked around to see if I wanted anything, if I needed anything, and I actually just ordered it online. Um, but I saw this first when I walked in the store and it was just so pretty. It is an eyeshadow. So this is from Hourglass. It is a scattered light in the color Burnish. I'm wearing it on my eyelids today. I just love like a, not a rose gold, but just like a really like, Bronze. Bronze is the word. Bronze eyeshadow color. It's also kind of hard to describe the consistency because if you look at it, you would think it would be like a cream kind of glitter thing, but it's not. It's like a light powder. It honestly looks even prettier on the eyes, especially if you blend it out with like a really nice matte brown shadow. I needed a new eyeliner, so I wanted to try out the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And this is in the color brown. I'm like really into that brown, not so crazy black eyeliner look. I used it on my eyes today. I just feel like it wasn't like, I don't know, maybe I need to like play around with it and like shake it up. Um, but I feel like it just like wasn't. But oh, well, I don't know. I'm gonna need to play with that one. But if you guys have any eyeliner recommendations with like a really nice like felt tip or like a brush pen, let me know because I'm still on the hunt for a brown one specifically. I picked up two mascaras. This is the Roller Lash and it has been my ride or die for ever since I can remember. And it's just such a good like curved wand. I really like it for that and it separates your lashes so well. So I restocked on this. And then this one is their Real Magnet uh, Mascara and they're both from Benefit. And I used this one today and I really liked this one. It it was literally just like their real mascara. I'm not sure what the magnet thing is. I feel like that's just like new branding because it definitely looks different, but I think it was just that their real mascara like upgraded a little bit. If I had to choose one, I'd definitely go for the roller lash because like I said, it's my ride or die. My favorite thing to look at and to pick up during the Sephora sale is new skincare because we all know that skincare can really be expensive these days. When I went to Sephora, I asked one of the workers for recommendations for my skin, so I really have dry skin and she recommended me both of these. This one is the Herbivore Prism Exfoliating Glow Serum. It has 12% AHA and 3% BHA. I couldn't really tell you what all this means, but I put it on my skin last night and then I put this on top and I've been having like just random weird like not breakouts acne, but like my skin will just be really dry. So there will just be really crazy dry patches that 
flare ups. When I woke up this morning, I swear I was a new person and I literally just used these two. So this one is the Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Serum. I remember the girl saying that this can get to like up to five layers of your skin. So it really, really hydrates you. I will say that this concoction kind of leaves your face feeling a little bit like tacky, not sticky, I wouldn't say. But I'll be honest, I kind of like that feeling because I know that it's like sinking into my skin, but not just like drinking it up and drying it out again. You know, it's like actually working. So I really like this concoction. Concoction. Like I said, I've only used it one night though. So I will keep you guys updated to see if it makes a big difference in my skin. Um, but I wonder how long these two will last because I know skincare is not cheap, like I said. Now it's time to talk about some of my favorite products that I've been using recently. So first off, I wanna talk about Kosas because they did send over a package, which I'm so thankful for. And they sent me over a bunch of stuff, but these are the few things that I really, really liked from the stuff that they sent me. So this is actually one of their newest products. It is their Cloud Set Powder it's in the color Pillowy, and I just think it's a really good powder for touching up throughout the day, and their package is really cute, by the way. And then for another powder product, this is their bronzer, and it kind of reminds me of like a Milani bronzer, but I just really like the color and it has that like sheen to it. So it's a little bit more of like a shimmery bronzer instead of a matte bronzer, which I feel like is gonna be perfect for the summer. If you guys are looking for more bronze eyeshadows, this is a really cool one. This is the 10 second eyeshadow from Kosas. It's actually a liquid, so you might have to like shake it up before you use it, but it has like a doe foot applicator and you just like swipe it on your eyes and it's so easy to use. You can just blend it out with your pinky and then like blend some matte shadow in your crease and you'll be good to go. It really is a quick and easy product to use, especially if you're like on the go. Last thing I want to show you guys from Kosas is their lip wet oil. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called or wet lip oil. Um, this stuff is so good and I've actually had my eye on it in Sephora for so long and the consistency is like not too sticky, but very moisturizing. It's almost like a gloss, like I wouldn't call it like a straight up oil. I'm actually obsessed with this product. This will definitely be my new like topper for my lip combo. Next, I wanted to talk about my foundations that I've been loving recently. So this one is from my last Sephora sale where I found this product and I'm obsessed with it till this day. The only thing is that it's a little bit dark for me right now, so I haven't been able to use it, but sometimes when I just like really want the formula on my face, I'll just like lighten it up with concealer and it's totally fine. I'm waiting till I get a little more of a tan on me to start using this every day again. But the formula of the Airbrush Flawless foundation from Charlotte Tilbury is so good. Um, it is more of a matte formula, I will say, so it might dry you out if you're super dry, but that is where you have to be consistent with your skincare and make sure your skin is hydrated and primed and just moisturized before you put on this foundation. This foundation is the one that I've been using every single day. This is the Makeup Forever HD stick, and I feel like I always come back to this. I'm pretty sure my mom used this first, and then I used it every now and then for like little touch-ups on blemishes and stuff, and I ended up just getting one for myself, and and I love this product. It's such a good like foundation to just have on hand, you know? The reason why I love this foundation so much is because it cuts my makeup time down almost in half. I don't know why, but I feel like whenever I'm using the beauty blender, it just goes so slow. You have to wet it and everything like that. So for this one, I use one of those oval brushes that I can also link down below. Um, but I forgot to tell you the colors of these. So for this foundation, my summer color is 12 Cool Freud. And then this one is Y445 and I can wear this color like now or in the summer. I do get a little oily when I use this throughout the day so that's why I have to have a powder on hand. And you guys know that I love this powder. This is also from that Airbrush Flawless Foundation line in Charlotte Tilbury so it's called the Airbrush Flawless Finish. And I'm in the color two medium and I just got like a light color because it's just like a translucent powder, but this literally leaves you looking poreless. It is amazing. And I really wanna to try to find like a drugstore version of this because it is a little bit expensive and I know that I have used it pretty much every single day. So I just hit pan, but I feel like other powders have definitely lasted me a little bit longer. So if you guys know a dupe for this, please let a girl know. For concealer, I used to use the Tarte Shape Tape, but I switched over to the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I really, really like this concealer. I don't feel like I have much to say about it. I mean, it's just a really good concealer. It doesn't really crease up on me, which is great. And I'm in the color Golden Beige. Last product I have to show you guys is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the color Limitless Brown. It is such a good lip liner to pair with like any kind of nude or like a pink color. I use this every single freaking day and it is actually really creamy. I like this formula a lot better than the MAC ones. I've been using a KKW lip liner for a really long time, but this like color actually like comes out because the 
thing isn't wood. Like the pencil part is plastic, so it literally just slides out, which is so annoying. But this one is a wood texture, so it's not gonna slide out, at least I hope not. I'm actually curious to see what the color range for the artist color pencils are, because I might wanna pick up a couple more during the sale. Those are my Sephora sale picks. Everything will be linked down below, so you can see the exact names and shop straight from those links. Um, but if you guys have already shopped the sale, definitely comment down below what you bought, because there's still a time to shop the sale for everyone else. So definitely stock up on some favorites and try some new things out. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.